Math tense, this video comes out of lesson 1.4, surface areas of right pyramids and right cones. And I just want to talk a little bit about cones. So a cone, first of all, is a circle on the base, and then it comes up to a point. Uh, a right cone just means that the point is directly above the center of the circle. And that's the only kind of cone we'll be talking about in this course. So the question for this one says, a cone has a radius of 4 meters and a height of 9 meters. Find its surface area. If you look on your Math 10 formula sheet, you're going to come up with the formula that looks like that. That says the surface area of a cone is equal to pi r s plus pi r squared. Now the pi r squared is familiar to me because that's just the base, that's just this area of a circle. The pi r s is what we call the lateral surface area. It's the surface area around the sides of this cone, if you want to describe it that way. And notice it's s, not h. So they gave us h, which is height, but we actually want slant height. So as we did in a, in a previous example, we're actually going to have to take a second to find s given the information we had. And so it ends up being a little Pythagoras relationship that r squared plus h squared equals s squared. And so four squared plus nine squared equals s squared. And we break that down all the way down to 16 plus 81 is 97. So slant height is the square root of 97 meters. Rather than write nine point decimal, 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 I'll leave it as root 97. Now we can put the numbers into the surface area formula and say, okay, well, pi times the radius times the slant height plus pi times the radius squared. And as long as I'm careful with the calculator, I'm gonna end up with the sum of two areas, the lateral surface area, which turns out to be 123.764 decimal, 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 meters squared plus 50.265 decimal, decimal, decimal. As soon as you introduce pi and square roots for that matter, um, you're gonna get decimals that go on forever. Add these together um, and I rounded it to the nearest square meter because it was 174.0 something. Um, the only time I'll be picky about rounding instructions is if there are rounding instructions. If the question says round to the nearest meter squared, make sure you do so. If it said round to the nearest hundredth, you know, I should have a couple decimal places here. Um, but the point here is more so, do we know what a cone looks like? Do we know the difference between height and slant height? And then how to find the slant height so that we can use it in our formula.